guys welcome back to another review today's video i'm going to do a first impressions review on elf's new cc cream as well as their lash it loud mascara Okay, so first things first, Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2021, the first of very many. 2020 was good, it was a good start for me here, and I couldn't be more excited to continue sharing my thoughts and my reviews. Thank you guys for being so incredible and for all your support. If you're new here, welcome to the Cam family. I hope that you guys enjoy my content. So like I said today, it's going to be a first impressions review. I had purchased these two items quite a while ago, but as usual, I took a little bit of time and I didn't sit down right away to review this. So yeah, pretty much we're going to find out together what we think, well, what I think about these. And then hopefully you guys either decide on purchasing or not. Putting on headbands are quite iconic around here, so I think that I want to keep that for 2021. I have a clean face. I did do my eyebrows off of camera already, and I applied some chapstick because these winter months are pretty brutal to my skin, so I want to make sure that I keep everything hydrated as much as possible. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I forgot to bring down my nose where I put how much these items cost. Just giving you guys a heads up because I do know that when I introduce new items here, I like to say how much they cost me and where I purchase them. So I'm just going to put it right here in the video. I normally do like to get my e.l.f. products over at Target, but these were quite new when they first announced them and the stores didn't really have them, so I did purchase them on the e.l.f. website. These two items have been out for quite a while now, so I'm pretty sure that you can find them at your local drugstore place like Target or Walmart, Walgreens. I'm gonna start with the CC cream. Now, CC stands for color correcting. I feel like this type of product is awesome simply because they always have extra ingredients that are super good for your skin and it also contains sunscreen which is always a plus so this is like a one-stop skin do everything foundation but it's not foundation it's cc cream do you know but on the back it says that this is a full coverage which is awesome and as i mentioned this does contain sunscreen it has an spf of 30 and it is also infused with a different ingredients that are supposed to plump and smooth and hydrate your skin i mean what else can we ask for this sounds very promising so let's give it a try so we're gonna open this up and if you were curious to know what shade i purchased i got it in light 240w and so here is the product and it comes in a plastic tube that's also a pump so by seeing this it's already a plus for me i had already taken this off but this does come with a plastic cap super easy to remove and put back on so so far so good now the next thing that we would have to try out is the pump let's see how that works it says that we only need one to two pumps of the cc cream to create that full coverage that it's promising so let's see if that's true I'm going to put some on the back of my hand and let's try with one pump first just so I can test out the formula. Okay, so there it is. There is one pump and it's seriously not going anywhere. First impression is that it is not a runny formula. You guys, I got a little bit too excited and I was just about to apply this on my face. We need to first apply some primer. What am I doing? It's Monday. This is my first video of 2021. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be using the Poreless Putty Primer and this one is also by e.l.f. Might as well, you know, just keep it in the same family. I really like this primer, so I think that this is a great choice. So I finished applying the primer. The next thing I am going to do is dot this first pump of a product on my face and then I am going to blend it out using a brush. As I am dotting this around my face, it 
does feel like a thick formula. It doesn't feel any different than when I dot like a full coverage foundation on my face. I'm gonna be using a flat angled brush to blend out. This is blending pretty nicely, I mean, very effortlessly. Sometimes when I am trying to blend out a formula that is a lot more on the thicker side and not too runny, sometimes I feel like I struggle to blend out, but this one is not the case. Okay guys, so I just finished blending all of this out and remember that this is only one pump and I am debating on whether to apply more because I feel like this is more than enough on my skin. It definitely is a full coverage. I mean, it's always nice when you purchase something and it does exactly what it says. I could go in, you know, with a second coat a second pump of this, but I don't know if I wanna do that. But for the sake of this video and as a first impression, I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this and dot it around the areas that I think may need a little bit more coverage, but I don't think it's necessary. And as I do this, I still have a little bit more product here on the back of my hand. Let's. Take a sniff. <laughs> Let's see how it smells. You guys already know that I always like to smell any new product. Just, you know, just to see. No, it don't smell like anything, which is great. I mean, I would have assumed that this would smell like sunscreen because normally everything that says it contains sunscreen has that sunscreenishy? that's not even a word. What do you guys get me? Normally do have that sunscreen scent. I'm gonna take my mirror and take a closer look. Hmm, this is not kicking up anywhere. However, I think that two pumps was a little bit too much just as I had already assumed, but for this video, I think it was okay just to test it out. What I discovered as I applied that second quote is that it doesn't cake up. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just touch and see how it feels. It is not tacky on the skin. However, it is transferring on to my fingertips and I'm not sure if it's because I applied a little bit too much or what, but it's not tacky. I feel like you can leave it as it is. I don't think that you would need to set it, but I still don't want to end this video without figuring out how it would look with a little bit of powder on top. So I am going to take this shade right here from my Wet n Wild contouring palette and just apply some of it on my T-zone just to see what it does. I think that it looks good. It just made it a little bit more matte. I did forget to mention this doesn't leave that dewy finish on your skin, but it's also not too matte where it's dry. So it does feel hydrating on the skin. This also said that it was a natural finish, which I can see that it's true. This is full coverage. It does look natural, but again, just beware that because this is very full coverage, it can surpass the natural finish a little bit and start looking like I have a foundation on instead of a CC cream that's supposed to be a lot more light and airy on the skin. I want to see how this works with some concealer under the eye. So I am going to take another e.l.f. product and I'm going to use their Flawless Brightening Concealer. So that concealer did go on pretty smoothly. It 
didn't seem to interfere in a negative way with the CC cream. And I don't know if it's because it's in the same family, you know, it's also an e.l.f. product. I'm not sure what it is, or maybe it's just a formula of this, but they both went on pretty good. Now I'm just going to set the under eye with a little bit of that same light shade from my Wet n Wild palette, as well as the eyelids for when I apply some eyeshadow. The next thing I am going to do is apply some bronzer, my blush, as well as some eyeshadow before I show you guys how this mascara goes on. And I am going to do all of that off of camera just to save you some time and that way you guys are in here, you know, just watching me apply, you know, the things that I'm not going to review here. So yeah, I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll be back and show you guys the finished look on that before I apply some of the mascara. All right, you guys, so I am back. And as I said, I already finished applying everything on my face, even my lips. I already applied some lip gloss. The only thing I haven't done are my lashes, top and bottom. We're gonna give the Lash It Loud mascara a try. And so I can't remember the last mascara that e.l.f. came out with. It's probably been a while, so I was pretty excited when I saw this. This is in the shade of black. I'm not sure if they offer anything else, maybe like a brown, but black is pretty standard for mascara. And in the back, it says that it is a rich pigmented formula. It's supposed to lash out every single lash. The wand is very flexible and this is supposed to go on smooth and is supposed to grip and grab onto every single lash, which is very promising because I know that sometimes, depending on what mascara you use, it can sort of like clump up. And so because it says that this grips onto every single lash, it's supposed to amplify, define, and add dimension. I think it sounds great, but now let's see if it does what it says. So it's a standard plastic tube and the color is very nice. It's like a rose gold slash brownish copper color. All the bristles on the wand are plastic and it smells like every other mascara that I've tried. I really want to test this out. So what I'm going to do is apply some of this on this eye without curling my lashes. And then on this side, which is my right side, I am going to curl them up just to see if it makes a difference. Give these a nice curl. And then like I said, over on my left side, I am not going to curl. I went back in to pick up some of the product. The wand doesn't pick up too, too much. So that's kind of nice because sometimes when wands pick up too much of the product, it can be very messy around the eye. And the last thing we want to do is a mess up the look. I'm going to do one even coat on both sides and I'll give you guys an update. Right, so there you have it. One even coat on both sides. What do you guys think? The formula is pretty light. It's not heavy on the lashes and it is also not that like super wet formula, which I really do like. Now I'm looking on both sides and I don't see much of a difference whether I curl them or not. I'm going with a second coat and see how different it looks. So that is the second coat and I think it did do a little bit of a difference or they look more volumized, but again, I don't see much of a difference from the side that I curled, which is pretty impressive because I would have thought that it would have looked a lot more bold compared to the side that I didn't curl. Maybe this mascara is doing a good job job i would say lashes really didn't clump up together which was a plus now i do want to see how this applies on the lower lashes so i'm going to take just a little bit and try it out 
type of wand is not my favorite for the lower lashes, but it doesn't look bad. I think it looks a lot nicer on the top. All right, so I took off my band, and so this is my final look. I mean, you guys already kind of <laughs> saw it. And as usual, before I end this, I do like to say which item was my favorite. So if I did have to pick just one, I would definitely go with this CC cream. It's not a tacky formula. It is full coverage, very natural looking. You don't need so much product to really do its job and cover up everything. And I really, really like that this has SPF. Now the mascara, I think that it did a nice job. I just don't think that it was very surprising. I thought that it would make my lashes look a lot more full. I think it's a good everyday mascara, but I just simply do have other drugstore favorites. So with all of that said, I think that that completes my video. I had a great time. I also want to remind you all that I'm going to link the two items on the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about these two products. If you gave them a try, what are your thoughts? I always look forward to hearing from you. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. Continue to stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!